Hi, my name's Kate. I work for New York Citizens Advice. Okay, so we'll be offering debt advice and that'll be tailored to meet the client's specific needs. And the client will be allocated to a caseworker who will help them to discuss their debt options. Um, and this might include contacting um, creditors, helping them to establish the current income and expenditure details, and discussing debt options. Hi, I'm Lee Davey and I work for York Learning. And we are both a key worker and intervention partner here in York. Um, our specialism uh, as far as key working is getting people back into work but also about um, motivating people into learning and into training. So we've got very experienced key workers and we've been doing it for a long time in York. Um, as far as our key working goes, we are delivering English Maths and ITC. We will be doing unaccredited five-week courses in English and Maths. Um, the idea being that it's going to be something that's fun um, and going to be engaging. Um, probably have um, uh, something that's, so where we can publish something on the internet as well through that. Um, our IT provision will be an online workshop that we run on a weekly basis and that will allow people to develop IT skills. So. Okay, so I'm Jenny, I'm from Beyond 2013 and I'm here today as a key worker. So Beyond 2013 is a training provider and we offer lots of different kinds of training. We're thought leaders in, um, in the future skills and skills gaps. So where uh, we are the key worker, so we're participants, engaging people and making sure that they are given the correct support. So figuring out what their barriers are, where they want to be, where they are now, what steps they have in between where they are now, where they want to be. Hello, I'm Yvonne Copley, uh, Project Manager at the Kira Women's Project. Kira is a, 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 a centre for women, run by women, so it could be women who've experienced domestic violence, maybe without bereavement, any problems that a woman is having which is a barrier for her to from moving on. But we're, we're a key worker and we're going to work a lot on self-esteem, building confidence, getting a woman uh, emotionally and psychologically ready for work. Hi, I'm Maria Gill from St. Nick's. St. Nick's is a local nature reserve, just in the middle of York. Um, and we run quite a few different projects that focus on not only conservation, um, but also helping people to connect to nature. Okay, um, so we're a key worker organisation and an intervention party. Um, as a key worker organisation, we can provide one-to-one -one mentoring for people. Um, we have um, Kathy Sturgis who has a lot of uh, experience in that, so um, really lucky, a great asset. So my name is Helen Fairburn, I work for York Mind and the Action Towards Inclusion Project Lead there. Uh, York Mind is an independent charity, we provide a number of different services specifically for people who are experiencing uh, difficulties with their mental health. As Action Towards Inclusion we will be a key worker, so we will be supporting people in that capacity. As an intervention partner we will be able to um, offer people priority access to our counselling service. So we have a team of 12 accredited and trained volunteer counsellors. They come from various different uh, theoretical backgrounds and work with different approaches and we can offer up to 16 sessions which enables people to work a little bit more longer term with difficult underlying issues that people are wanting to explore. Uh, my name is Martina Morley and I work for the Zone Charity. The Zone Charity has been in, uh, in existence for about 30 years and we have an excellent reputation, a long established reputation for working um, to support people um, to make the best of their lives. Well, I'm going to be, my role is going to be as a key worker um, and I'm going to be doing some one-to-one -one coaching um, and you know, I, I'm going to be very, very flexible about working with people's own pace, um, you know, help, help them to explore what their goals are, realise sort of their aspirations and support them in order to be able to um, reach those goals. 
and hopefully to give them the confidence because I think the confidence is, is a massive part of, especially people have worked, been out of work for a long time. Um, Self-confidence is a massive part of being able to go forward with that. Uh, I'm Charlotte, I'm the Artistic Director of the York Star Stitch Company. Um, it's a community theatre company, so we work within the community with children, with adults, put on lots of different productions a year. Um, what's important to us is about the journey as opposed to the performance at the end. So uh, we're working with the over 50s and we're going to be running um, weekly sessions for like a six week course about people's life journeys um, in a creative way. So the idea is to find out the skills that they've already got. So I'm Amy Garrett and I work for North Wiltshire Sport. So North Wiltshire Sport is a charity that uses a variety of sports to help people at all stages. So inclusion, to get them through all stages, different sports, so volunteering opportunities, coaching opportunities, a wide variety of, to get people into sport and carry them on that journey. North Yorkshire Sport are going to do is kind of a variety of things. So we're going to do a lot of one-to-one -one mentoring, group mentoring, paired mentoring, um, and we're going to use sport as a driver for change for that. My name is Simona and I work for i 2 i in York, in spite of independence. And my role is building better opportunities key work. So what we do uh, we deliver a fully integrated employment and skills service which specialises in helping people back to work and providing employees with recruitment solutions and staff training. So our role in the project is to engage and support um, people, disadvantaged people, um, and help them to open the barriers to employment and um, we provide support to help to become, for them to become work ready. Um, we have different like interventions in place that we're going to help them become work ready with. So this could be like access to learning, um, training, volunteering, work experience and job opportunities. I'm Diane Quinney and I'm the Area Education Manager for the Workers' Educational Association which are commonly known as the WEA. We're an adult and community learning organisation. We don't have our own base so that we go out delivering courses and activities to adults, uh, very inclusive activities. Okay, we'll be doing lots of wellbeing activities, um, short, punchy, two and a half hour wellbeing activities, which could be about mood and food, they could about, be about arts work, they could be about upcycling, they could be about what makes you happy, and then those kind of activities will lead to short confidence courses. Jo, I work for the Community Furniture Store in York. We're, we're a charity helping those in need by selling on reused furniture at a low cost that people wouldn't normally be able to afford to purchase. We're offering volunteer placements within our charity to help people build confidence in order to get back to work and learn new skills and hopefully possibly more through a few um, certificates at the end. Um, I'm Alexandra McNally and I work for Aspire iGen. Um, so Aspire iGen um, works with um, people ages 18 um, and over and helps with training, employment um, and supports in a variety of different ways. Specifically, uh, myself and Nicola Wilde will be acting as key workers across York with lone parents, so that's single mums and single dads. Um, and we'll be helping them in a variety of ways, with it, with, whether it's with their learning, uh, um, employment support, um, skills, um, and it's quite a holistic um, project. Yeah, my name's Jim McGurn, I'm Chief Executive of Get Cycling, a community, community interest company based in New York. We do events of all kinds, bike tryout road shows, we work for local authorities, we work for universities, schools, we do offender work, we work in dementia, so anything which gets people cycling. Uh, we hope to provide uh, opportunities in uh, cycle maintenance, 
uh, volunteering on our events, uh, volunteering to help us with companion cycling for people with uh, uh, dementia. My name is Stuart McLean and I work for Business Support Development Limited. We assist clients in either getting back into employment or finding self-employment. We help them build the confidence back up again so they can actually go down that route. Well, we're teaching English, Maths and ICT in the York area and also financial capability. Again, it goes back to where we can help them rebuild the confidence so they can start looking for either a career, a job or even, even a purpose. Anything, anything that impacts on somebody's mental health. 